ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Brian Peters with you for this Sunday, November the 30th edition of the Weather Extreme video. And it looks like we're going to end November on somewhat of a wet note and begin December on somewhat of a chilly cold note. Let's get right to some Skycam images this morning, and there's a look at our Clanton Skycam. As uh, you can see, the clouds and a little moisture on the lens, kind of foggy in places across much of central uh, Alabama. And there's Gadsden showing uh, the lights blinking through that mist and that fog, and kind of an interesting cloud once again or sky across the Gulf Coast as we look at the Gulf Shores Skycam. Surface front across uh, central Alabama with a bit of a, a actually a cold front uh, coming through the state this morning. It's going to keep temperatures from changing much once again. And pardon the funky colors on the 500 millibar chart, but uh, the important things to note is that the trough is just to our west. And in addition to that, we're getting great moisture off the Pacific, which is helping to keep things rather wet across the Gulf Coast region. Temperatures are not terribly cold across the continental United States or the uh, uh, lower 48 or the contiguous United States, but uh, still warm in Florida. Uh, notice at this hour, uh, just after 6, it's uh, 76 down at Key West and very, very chilly in uh, central Canada where they're in the minus digits this morning. Across central Alabama, we're not doing too bad. Temperatures generally in the 50s, and I don't expect to see temperatures change very much at all. The rain is gradually getting out of here. You can see the bulk of the uh, moderate heavy rain is over uh, Georgia and northern Florida, but we still have a little bit of rain to contend with, and it's going to be a drizzly, foggy kind of day. Now, the rain has been confined, or the heavier rain, I should say, has been confined to the southern part of the state. This is a look at the storm total precipitation over the last uh, several uh, days, and uh, certainly a good soaking down there with uh, as much as it looks like as much as five inches across uh, the area just to the south of Montgomery. Storm Prediction Center outlooking an area for a slight risk of severe across pretty much the Florida Peninsula and a little bit of southern Georgia. QPF-wise, not a great deal of precipitation over the next five days. This is through uh, 12Z on Friday, so it covers this rain uh, today and tonight and tomorrow, and uh, precipitation, I should say, and then that uh, goes on into uh, the next one. Uh, which will be toward the latter part of the week. All right, here's the 06E GFS model run, and here's our trough that is going to be bringing some rather chilly air into the region. You can see that cold air. This is a midday today, around noontime, but the bulk of the heavy precipitation is off to the southeast of us, but we're going to be dealing with a lot of wraparound moisture. And uh, the trough stays uh, just barely to our west as it continues to dig on the 1st of December, Monday. And you can see the 540 line coming, going well down into the northern Gulf of Mexico. And again, that wraparound moisture. Now, I wanted to look uh, very quickly. This is the 18C 850 millibar chart. We'll zoom in here on Alabama. And you can see that the zero-degree isotherm is down all the way uh, to uh, below Mobile. So we're going to have some pretty cold air, but it won't be extremely cold right at the surface. So uh, I think we're going to have enough for a kind of a mixture of some rain and some snow, or perhaps some snow showers, uh, but no accumulations as uh, the ground is very, very um, warm. The trough gets by us on the second or Tuesday, and uh, that should help to dry us out. And you can see that we're beginning to warm just a little bit as we moderate, but uh, still it uh, looks like the next week certainly below normal. Uh, we dry out on Wednesday, but another shortwave trough is coming through the flow uh, over uh, west, western Texas. And even though we'll be dry, moisture increases off to our west, and that brings another round of uh, some rain uh, to us probably during the uh, first part of Thursday and maybe even into the afternoon hours Thursday, but I think that will be zipping through rather quickly. And we remain, uh, this is Friday at the 500 millibar level, and we remain with a trough over the eastern part of the country, a long wave trough position uh, as it shrinks just a little bit. So that keeps us chilly but dry on Friday. And then Saturday, we can see that long wave trough is still there with some impulses coming through the flow but we should be uh, dry on Saturday as well. 
Uh, no, not much change to that long wave trough position, but notice we got a number of impulses, one up on the northwest coast of the United States and another one coming through the central plain states, and that will be bringing some additional uh, weather uh, through the central part of the United States, although we will stay dry here on uh, Sunday. And then as we get into uh, Monday, the next uh, weather system is approaching in the upper atmosphere, the next disturbance, and that should bring another round of wetness to us. Now out into the voodoo country, and it looks like another pretty strong uh, short wave coming through the flow on the 12th or Friday, uh, and that uh, looks like another wet pattern, so it looks pretty wet right now. And then uh, we get into a Kind of a moderated flow, as uh, GFS is suggesting, that we're going to see a cutoff low out over the western United States, and that would keep a nice southwesterly flow over us, and that would indeed bring a lot of Pacific moisture our way, and if that does indeed happen, the middle of December looks wet again. Well, we appreciate you tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. James Spann will be back tomorrow morning, and we'll be back on the two-a-day schedule for uh, the coming week after having been on a bit of a uh, holiday schedule. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great Sunday, and Godspeed.